Hello everyone and welcome back to In the Studio with Ophelia. I am Ophelia and thank you all so much for joining me today. For today's video, we are going to look at my Lucas watercolor palette. In particular, one color on that palette that um, we just need to have some work with. And so I thought it would be a great idea for us to just get together, pull out your watercolors, and we're going to have a look at um, one color in particular. This could, the color for me could be totally different than your color, but grab your watercolor, grab a willingness to just kind of play around, um, and I will flip the camera around so that we can just get started playing. If you like it here, please leave this video a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know when I upload videos. <clears throat> One thing that I do want you to know is that I completely appreciate you being here and um, I will stop talking so that we can get to playing. Grab your watercolors and let's go. Thanks for watching. I hope that this or everything is in frame here. And all I've done is um, taken my ruler and uh, drawn myself some squares. And I just kind of used the width of the ruler because I'm not even really wanting to be scientific about it or anything like that. Um, I've got myself a Nimbri round. Um, and this is a Mimic Kolinsky. Um, I had a clutch pencil here that I was working with and my Lucas watercolor set. I'm just going to get some water and uh, go ahead and give these guys a good spray so that they can be ready. And this whole video came about because I think I've been through a couple of these sets and um, I've always noticed that this color, English Red Light, um, is the one that I use the least. And so today I am going to create some mixes and all I've done here is just written out all the names of the colors on my palette, which is this guy right here. And I'll link a video to where I had done the swatches before, um, but I am going to make myself mix that English red light with all the colors here on my palette so that um, I can just make myself use it a bit more and enjoy it because I just feel like it just sits on my palette and does nothing. So I've got this, uh, it's a flower palette and I will link everything that I'm using below. And I'm not really even gonna try to be scientific about it. I just wanna see what kind of colors I can get by mixing all of the colors on my palette with that one color so that I can make myself use it more. So I am just going to make myself some wells and I believe here on my palette, or here on my palette, I have 36 colors. And so I'm just going to, can't see if you're seeing, just kind of make myself some wells of color. And like I said, I'm not even going to try to be pretty specific about it or anything like that. I'm just wanting to just get myself a bit more familiar with this color because it's literally not one that I ever use. And um, even with the all of these palettes that I've had, the Lucas palettes, I've never used the pan of English red light. And so that's pretty much what this video is all about. What I will do is, and hopefully I will keep this in frame as I'm working. Um, 
here. Let's get some of this. Just gonna make a swatch of that color right up here. As I'm swatching these, I'm just gonna speed the video up. I'm not really being too careful about how much of the pigments I pick up from the palette to the wells that I've already created. Um, there are a couple, like the two alizarin crimson and the magenta, <clears throat> that I'm going to go back and kind of paint over because they look pretty similar. But um, I'm just honestly trying to see what colors I can get from mixing all of the paints on my palette with that one English red color. And here it is all finished. And there are a couple of them that I am going to use in the project because I think that they just look really cool um, and not something I would think I would get from that one color. So here's a still shot. And I'm gonna use some painter's tape to just section off my sketchbook um, with squares so that I can use some of those mixes um, just to kind of mess around with them a little bit more. I've got myself a mop brush. And then what I decided to do was just wet down the square, add in the English red, and then add another color to just kind of see what I can get without, uh, I guess, thoroughly mixing them, but letting them mix themselves. Because I'm getting to the end of this sketchbook, um, the pages kind of lean forward, so I have to be careful with how much water I put down. But I'm just honestly playing around with the colors to just see what I can get when the two mix. And so I decided to just wet a bunch of the squares, and I apologize that some of these on the bottom are um, out of frame. But I'm just wetting a bunch of the squares so that I won't overthink which color I should put next with which. I'm just going to grab that English red and then grab a color and put them down. Once I let everything dry, I then start removing the tape. And now I just have myself, I guess, nine-ish squares where I'm just going to use some pens and a variety of mark-making materials to just kind of doodle in each one of the squares. I'm also grabbing some colored pencils, and in all honesty, I'm just sitting, playing in my sketchbook, kind of having fun, just not really paying a lot of attention to what it is I'm doing. I'm just filling the spaces, or filling these spaces with different marks, with 
just, I guess, with just doodles. These two are problem children. I just didn't like how they turned out, so we will come back and address those later after we finish filling in the rest of the squares. I spent this time just goofing around in my sketchbook with doodles and such like that, um, playing with colored pencils, and then I kind of hit a wall where I ran out of ideas, or maybe um, I just kind of got tired of looking at it. I don't, I'm not sure. So I went to my collage pal pile, um, found a couple of things, and <clears throat> thought that I would just kind of finish filling the spaces with random stuff to glue down. Of course, feeling pretty tired, I grabbed myself a cup of coffee, and um, which kind of lifted the mood a bit, but I think I was just kind of done. So I got my vine char charcoal here that I'm just going to kind of go around the edges of this one. And then just a regular pencil, that clutch pencil, to go around the edge of the butterfly. And then um, it's time to address those problem children. I just did not like the way that they turned out. I don't know why it was bothering me. There's a couple that did. Um, so all I did was just take a black pen for the first one and fill in the spaces in the middle. 
and then just let it go at that. For the second one, that video before where we did the jelly print papers, I just painted that entire square black and glued it down. And here is all of the squares filled in. Both pages side by side as well as a still of the swatches. I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching me goof off in my sketchbook and just doodle. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!